Welcome to a Week 10 Mountain West Conference Rivalry Matchup as the Wyoming Cowboys host the Colorado State Rams in the Border War, the Battle for the Bronze Boot. The Cowboys are 5-2 overall and 2-1 and in conference play after last week's 38-6 victory over the New Mexico Lobos. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's games. The Cowboys do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings going into today's games. The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game.
the Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 10 Mountain West Conference rivalry game as the 0-7 Colorado State Rams come into Laramie to take on the 5-2 Wyoming Cowboys in the Border War, the battle for the bronze boot. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a team looking for its first win, the Colorado State Rams. Taking on another team from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Cowboys will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Colorado State's offense will take the first swing of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, baby, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened. Right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Grabbed in the middle, it's Brown. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. So Wyoming's offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our... Simply put, the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. First down for this offense. They go to the ground. Nice move there. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominated at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Might as well give it to him again. Brought down at the 38. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Finds a tight end. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Cowboys have it with a first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. 
And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll try to get it through the air. He's got it! And he'll be marked down, but he's got enough to move the chains. Third down and short is exactly what you want in offense because you can run the football, make the defense suck up, but you can also throw it. Nice execution, third and short, now set up in a first and goal situation. And he'll be stuck, got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Got it! They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. A third and goal call here from the two. Let's see if they can finish the deal. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. Field goal is good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal they've got. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And the pressure gets him back at the 8-yard line. And I love playing man coverage on the back end, getting those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. Let's see if they can get out of their own way on second and long from the eight. Looking to throw, it's Fowler Nicolosi. That one never had a chance, incomplete. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He just kept going backwards. You have to step up, and they get him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Take the penalty.
The offense set for a first down play. Just going to keep it after the snap. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. Empty backfield, five wide receivers on second and six. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Stevenson. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Nice move to keep moving. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. I'll say, watching this offense this year, one of the things you have to be really happy about is their ability to move the sticks. This is one of the top 25 offenses in the country in getting first downs. That running back is one of the biggest reasons. He is a weapon. And the Cowboys will have it first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Makes his connection. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular. Oh, picked off. Not much of a chance on the return, but they'll have the ball at the 33. Well, obviously, it's raining here in this game, and ball slippery. I don't know if that slipped out of the QB's hands a little bit, but it certainly wasn't an accurate throw, and as a result, it ends up in an interception. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. There. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. The Rams want to crank the tempo. They'll try to run for it. Still on his feet at the 45. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. First and 10 coming up. No secret sauce. No tricking people. Third down and one. I got to be the more physical team, Jesse. And they were. And it's so nice, too, when you've got playmakers like that guy that can take a play that's only designed maybe to get a couple yards and turn it into a big gainer. This offense is loaded with weapons. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Fighting off the defender. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. He'll keep it himself. And they get him down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They keep pushing forward. Now back to work on second and goal from the six. Back to throw, it's Fowler DiColosi. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. The eighth play of the drive coming. You'd hate to settle for a field goal. It's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. 
Had to throw it before he wanted. Another incompletion on third down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. From the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. And he missed it. No good. And they missed the opportunity to draw closer, still down by five. Well, that last missed field goal is essentially a microcosm of the year it's been for this football team. Things just not going the right way on offense, on defense, and on special teams. It's on its way out. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Caught. Nowhere to go and not much to show for that one. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Let's see what they do on third down. To the air, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chains after that incompletion. On third down, going up top. Showing the arm straight down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. Cover guys get at the 15. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a high level. And the Rams moving quickly to the line. To the air, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Find space on the right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Going up top on first down, using the quick game. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats.
open the quarter with this first down play. Looking for a crease, it's Henderson. Powers through the defender. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Now they'll run the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Rams will put this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The punt goes out of bounds, and they'll spot it right around the 15. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. To the air. It's Svoboda. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Quarterbacks need time when they're in the pocket to complete throws. That QB had no shot after taking that hit. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Going over the top. It's complete! A huge pickup! Nothing but green ahead! Touchdown, Wyoming! And once he got loose, it was all over. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened, because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. They'll try to add another to their lead. And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Florida has the lead right now, but those Gator chomps haven't come easy. They're in a tight one. They're up by seven over Georgia. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And the Rams want to move quickly. Dropping back, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Time to take a shot. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. And now let's see if the offense can bail itself out after the second down misfire. Grab near the sticks. It's Jenkins. The tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. The Rams come to the line with a new set of downs. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his progression. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Williams. They are able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. They make the stop of this running game, moves the chains as they get the first down. And the Rams look to keep this drive humming. He wants to throw. Pulls it in, it's Williams. 
And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Polly. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. And now on second down for this offense. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. And they have converted their first two third down opportunities but this one, a third and long. Looking for a man, it's Fowler Nicolosi. He's going to let one fly down the middle. What a snag by the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. I'll tell you, you gotta give the defense credit though, because with these conditions, it's not easy to catch for the offensive players, certainly not for the defense, but great eye-hand coordination securing that interception. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Wants to throw on second down. He's got it. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Offense set on first down. Here's the handoff. He's there to make the stop. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. They're in the red zone. First and 10 from the 20. In the red area, it's Williams. Pushing ahead, a tough run. Picks up four, it's down at the 15. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. It's complete! And he will score! Touchdown, Cowboys! They've got the lead and trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in week 10. Timing and better execution, that is just what a quarterback and wide receiver need. And it's timing, it's route running, right? You gotta be precise, you gotta know exactly what yard you're running to. The quarterback receiver on the same page, that's why you get the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead.
And he did get that extra point through the slippery surface, no problem. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. It just looked like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Back to throw. It's Fowler Nicolosi. They're working that left side. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. The Rams are in the hurry up. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Caught over the middle, it's Henderson. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He's going to pass. Quick strike complete. They get him down after he makes the catch. Offense gets set for second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Trying play action. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And the Rams come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch. It's Avent. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They've been really good, moving the chains on third down. Now one yard away from another first down on this drive. Gets it out fast. The Rams will move the sticks. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Leaves it with the running back. Brought down after a five-yard gain down to the seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Right back to the well. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Fowler Nicolosi. He had it in the end zone, but just couldn't get a foot down to stay in bounds. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Splits the uprights right down the middle.
After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Merritt. Really disciplined. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Leaves it with the back. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. And here comes the offense on second down. To the air, it's Svoboda. He's got the back in the middle. Can't come in half-stepping to tackle this guy. Too much strength and power. He's up to the 25. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Cowboys will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points, and you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And it's such a good opportunity to cut into a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And the Rams will bring the punt team onto the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Looking everywhere for room to wrap out of bounds. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They've got time. They've got the lead. And David, it's sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it. So, Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Another incompletion on third down. And the Cowboys send out the punt unit. On the move, it's Morrison. And he's going to get it up to about three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. They'll go to the ground. 
These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. Looking downfield, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Pass on the way. It's picked off. He'll try to take it back. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry... The Rams will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground.
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Line gets set, first down. They'll open the second half with a run. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Split backs here. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. It's all spot in the middle. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Running back searching for a hole. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. They'll try to get the first through the air. He makes the connection. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give to the tailback. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Ball's at the 13. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Hey, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. The gift to the fullback. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. They'll play it safe and try for three. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. 
And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Wisconsin is ahead early inside Camp Randall, but that's not exactly Ron Dane out there running the ball. This game is a long way from over. Now when Kevin let us know when it goes final. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. Pressure coming. He'll try to do it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Here comes the offense on second down. Fires to the big fella. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Now on first down from the 28. Grab behind the line. It's Person. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Got his man quickly. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pick up on that one. And the Rams are moving quickly down the field. He'll do it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. This offense has a second down play. They'll leave it with him. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Scanning the field, it's Fowler Nicolosi. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. The Rams will try to pin them back with the punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Punt goes out of bounds. stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead. Day. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. They're getting this guy lathered up. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Power football with the run. At the 35, he's got room. Oh, look out, there he goes. And that was a huge run that almost went to the house. The defense kept him from scoring. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. The Cowboys with the first and ten. After the run, 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 now to throw. Going deep. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And the pummeling has started. If these guys wanted to make a statement, statement has been delivered. It's your job to stop it. Oh, don't run the score up. Well, do something about it. The defense has to step up and make plays. Obviously, they're not willing to do that, so just keep running plays and keep scoring. On to attempt the try. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. 
And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it out. It's Morrison. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Looking to throw, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Trying to find his man on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. has struggled they're not going to win this game but trust me this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week and after an explosive play like that maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game holds and fires complete to the right can't White cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Slams ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They're going to run it. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Colorado State. Once the game reaches this point, you start thinking ahead and how you can find something positive to take into the next game. Dang right. Keep the offense rolling. Try to find some plays that I can use throughout this season that I can have some more success or, I guess, have success. I haven't had a lot of success today, but I'm looking for the future. And they did tack on the extra point, by the way. Knocked it right down the middle. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Roughing the kicker. Defense. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Not going to give him a chance being through the end zone. First down here for the offense. Gonna run it. It's Scott. A seven yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds, incomplete. 
Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They'll go to the air on third and short. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. Handoff to the single back. Bulls his way forward. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, you know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Cowboys line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just a wall of bounds after a short return. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, just keeps firing. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Another incompletion on third down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. And it's swatted. Offenses and, and taking chances, a lot of times it's going to put your defense in a hole. And this defense is going to have to come through in the clutch right here because you're trailing. They can't get more scores. They got to get a stop on this possession, and the offense is going to have to do better than they just did. Give to the running back. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line, a pickup of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll give it to the back. He gets it across the 25 to the 24, give him five on the carry. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. To throw, it's Rush. Gets it out quickly. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. Yeah. 
going to work on second down in the red zone. Is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Aaron is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. Absolutely perfect. And now the lead is extended a little far. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Oregon has opened up the playbook, and they are scoring in bunches right now. This offense has been electric. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. It's caught. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. To the air on first down. Quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Jenkins. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Looking to throw it again. Finds his big tight end. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. He's looking for a man on second down. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Corralled and brought down by the defense. And the D deny them on second and goal. Coming after it. Snag that ball in the end. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout is gone. And he takes it in in the end zone for a touchdown and a little window dressing here at the end of the game. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a thousand, but I like that they continue to fight. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Blitz the uprights. So it's an 80-yard drive. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick.
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. And now one of the most satisfying moments in football, just watching that. And the ball slipped out. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Fumbles are great when you force them, and you're always thinking about as a defensive player. But, man, when the weather conditions start to come down, it starts to rain, and you know that ball's a little bit slick, and you know more runs are coming. Falling on top of it, forcing the turnover. Good news, I guess. A lot of room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. Comes out throwing on first down. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Feeling some heat. They come up with their second safety of the game. You don't see that very often. And that's the exclamation point right there. It's been a bad day, man. This offense, they're going to have to find some answers over the next couple weeks, especially the next week of practice, of who they are, what their identity is, because all they've done today is struggle around and now give up points. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking the safety. He'll bring it back. It's Merritt. Finally stopped after he stopped. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. A run for the quarterback. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. Third down after the run. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident. And David, they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like you sometimes get overzealous, sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check and now bragging rights for a whole year. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 11 Mountain West Conference matchup is a rivalry game as the Cowboys travel to Honolulu to take on the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors in the battle for the Panilolo Trophy.